Well, hello everyone. This is Joe Drums coming to you. I hope everybody out there is doing great. I'm doing awesome. I just wanted to make a video today. Uh, it's been quite a while. I know it's been before Christmas. I think the last time I made a video. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to touch bases with you guys to let you know I'm I'm okay. Uh, you know, we had Christmas and we had New Year's. So everybody, Happy New Year, 2020. I hope this is going to be a good year. Kind of started out bad. I don't know if you heard. If obviously you probably have, if you're a drummer, and you probably know that my channel is devoted to this style of drummer. But uh, Neil Peart passed away. Uh, still is a shock. I've been just really down. I've been trying to fight back and forth whether I should make a video or not. And I just, you know, when I first heard the news, there was, you know, my wife had mentioned to me to. Why don't you hurry up and make a video and put something out there? And I just like, I couldn't deal with it yet. It was just, it's just too heartbreaking that this happened uh, so quick, so fast. Obviously, Neil's been suffering from brain cancer for three and a half years. Uh, we were just told last Tuesday, uh, or actually uh, last Thursday, but he actually passed away on Tuesday. Uh, that he passed away from uh, the brain cancer and uh, how I found out I was actually downstairs putting some lights up uh, I've got some other uh, additional stuff that I've been doing to the drum room I'll show you that later on in another video but uh, I was putting stuff up and I was got a text from my wife that uh, a friend of hers and a friend of mine uh, her his, my friend's wife called and mentioned that uh, Neil Peart had passed away and I was like what because you know how much sometimes we get a lot of fake news out there and I thought you know obviously this could be some type of uh, somebody making up something because why would be you know why would Neil be you know why would he have passed away you know it just didn't make sense so I went upstairs I got online uh, first thing I typed in you know Neil Peart uh, dead and boom it came up and I was like in total shock started crying my eyes out just couldn't believe it was true um, it, but it made a lot of sense it made uh, perfect sense of why after since 2015 you know that was the last tour the 40th anniversary rush tour uh, that Neil said he was going to you know be retired and and a lot of people thought it was maybe because of, you know, the ailments with the arms and the legs and the physical aspect of it, trying to be able to do concerts, you know. And um, and everybody thought maybe down the road they'll come together again and maybe do another album or something like that. And so a lot of that was going through my mind, but nobody knew for a minute that, you know, he had cancer and was, you know, obviously probably starting chemo. Nobody knows exactly what went on. I'm sure as the months and the years go by we'll find out a little bit more about what happened. But I thought it was kind of ironic first of all, one of, one being that Neil Peart uh, being the brainiac uh, that he was so super smart um, that he ended up getting the cancer in his brain. Uh, just That's too crazy. And the other thing is that Neil was very you know personal as if you know Neil Peart to be a real personable, uh, he doesn't like to uh, meet and greet, he lets Getty and Alex do that, uh, he uh, basically would, as uh, soon as the concert was over, he would run backstage, uh, get on his motorcycle, and boom, he was gone. So I think that's kind of what he did with us uh, in death as well, he kind of just kind of went away and just took off without saying anything to anybody and so what he did in, in life he did in death and that's fine you know uh, that's that's the way he was um, but yeah I've been having a hard time coping with it uh, the last few days here in the weeks as you know as we're 
continuing on here with uh, the year 2020. Um, for Christmas, I just wanted to show you, I ended up getting a, uh, this Rush book, uh, Wandering the Faces of the Earth. If you haven't picked this up yet, basically what this is is the touring history of Rush uh, from the years 1968 to 2015. And uh, it's, it's an amazing book. Um, this is the second copy I have right now. I have another one upstairs that uh, I've been delving through now since I heard Neil's passing. But, um, yeah, the, the book, I don't know, it uh, goes for like 50 bucks, I think, around uh, the United States, 70 Canada. But, again, you might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere. Um, yeah, so I urge you, if you're a real big Rush fan, uh, this is a great book to get into. And just to show you how amazing Neil was, uh, not just playing drums and writing lyrics, but playing these shows. Uh, there were so many shows in each year that they would play. I don't know how they did it. It would make me exhausted and as he got older he still kept doing it. I, I think that is an amazing legacy in itself just by how much he's, he's played uh, and recorded and has done so many awesome things for us as a drum community. Um, to uh, basically hold our, you know, Neil Peart flag high, and you know, of course, uh, my whole channel is de you know designed around the uh, the Rush experience, Neil, and stuff like that. Um, I think what I want to do today maybe is uh, we'll talk about uh, maybe a song. I'm not sure which one. I'll figure it out uh, as this video goes on. Uh, I will put a song together. I'm not going to play an actual song to Rush because copyright infringements, but I think what I'll do is I'll go through some of the patterns and things in maybe one of the Rush songs. We'll pick out a Rush song today. Again, I have no idea what it's going to be. I'll uh, surprise you here in the video. So, um, yeah, with, with that in mind, you know, I just, like I said, I can't believe it. I really feel probably for the most people, obviously, Getty and Alex. Uh, Neil's longtime drum roadie. Um, I'm sure he's feeling it. And but obviously his wife, Neil Peart's wife, um, Carrie, and his daughter Olivia. She's 10 years old. She lost her daddy. Uh, that's just ugh, that kills me um, for any little girl to lose her daddy that, at that age. Um, they, you know, the little girls need their daddy. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, let's go on to the next segment here of the video. I will talk to you guys soon. You guys take care. Um, keep rocking. Uh, rush forever, Neil Peart. Uh, rest in peace. And, uh, here we go. Okay, this song is Stick It Out. It's on Rush's Counterparts album. It's kind of like the navy blue album with, uh, kind of a nut and bolt on the front of it. Uh, this particular drum part that I've got that I found online uh, is actually four pages. I'm going to play it about 20% slower so that we can kind of see the parts as they go by and you can learn it by watching me play it slower. I'm not going to play it with the song obviously for copyright so you get to hear just the drums on this particular song. So let's start off with uh, page one. Here's what it sounds like. Two, three, four, one.